Notice I do not attempt to break away from his grip, but by bending well back, encourage his weight onto his toes. I turn my body, place his arm under mine, and in this position it's quite easy for me to dislocate his wrist, elbow, ah, uh, <coughs> Ankle, place my hand between his shoulders and kick away his only support. Two, a three, four, five, a six. Six. Surprise! It's six finger. It looks like your finger, but watch him flip. It's a secret weapon at your fingertip. Just point and fire. Six finger sends an SOS missile to your friends. Six finger, six finger, six finger. Fires cap loaded bombs and they explode as a ballpoint pen and signals in code. Looks like a finger so no one can see who has six finger. Six finger, six finger, man alive. The air car, which rides not on wheels, but on an invisible cushion of air. Any level surface will do, water, land, or ice. Will elements of future armies move in vehicles using the air car principle? Army researchers cannot overlook the possibility. Away at Angels Camp, California. For these slithery monsters, the length of the jump is measured in a straight line from the start to the end of the third jump. By a great something or other, the winner's name was Can't Take It at 15 feet 6 and 1 half inches. Not bad by a long jump. several models of the radio control tank. <coughs> Troops in this area call it the doodle bug. And here, one of the GIs goes for a ride. Loaded with explosives, the tiny tank can be sent against selected targets by radio control. This device appears to be expendable. A larger type can be retrieved by radio after discharging its load of explosives. At Valley Valley, I found him dreaming on the golden sand. Happened on the beach at Valley Valley. It wasn't long till we were holding hands. And while we strolled along the beach together, we kissed and then he promised to be mine. You could have knocked me over. Scouts. At seven feet four inches tall, he was not only the tallest Boy Scout in the world, but one of the world's tallest human beings. More than anything, he wanted to be like other boys. He wanted to go to college to become a lawyer. By the time he had graduated from high school, he was eight feet three. No yard, no yard, neither at the back nor in the front, for the babies of these West Londoners to romp in safety. But Mrs. Morris thinks her toddlers have a right to a place in the sun, so an out-of-this-world surprise awaits little Sally, who feels she's been given the brush off. From now on, it's high society and life in a penthouse. <laughs> This high life, it could go to a girl's head. It's daddy, yes, they respect him, even if they do sometimes look down on him. The three-wheel landing gear, any kind of a landing is 
it's perfectly all right, frontwards or sideways, one wheel, or any other way that you wish. The GB Ascender steers with a wheel instead of the conventional rudder bar, both in the air and on the ground, similar to this. The clippers are handled by the fore and aft motion of the stick and the ailerons by the side motion. The throttle is directed behind the wheel like a Model T Ford. All right, Andy, let's go. is rapidly becoming part of Britain's diet. Three million people buy it every week, though less than half that number know it. It is estimated that three quarters of the horse meat sold goes to the back street restaurants, where the customers are offered black market steaks. Eight out of every ten horses sold nowadays are said to reach the slaughterhouses. In a little over three years, a quarter of a million horses have been killed. The heavy breeds like Shire and Clydesdales are threatened with extinction. Public feeling grows against a sinister trade. The country demands action against a traffic so alien to the British people.